Hello and welcome to Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast. I'm your host Jeanette Burke, live at the red carpet for the premiere of Wicked Little Letters, starring in TIFF. And the movie stars Olivia Coleman. Now, this is a very unique film. It combines comedy and drama and social commentary and a murder mystery all into one. It all takes place in a small little town and little letters are being passed around. So it's a very intriguing plot and we're going to learn more about it from the producer, director and writers. So please stay with us. Standing here with... Thea Sharrock. Who is one of the, nope, she's a director. The director, a female director of the movie Wicked Little Letters. And now I want to delve a little bit deeper, deeper because I did sort of hint at this a bit with, with one of your colleagues. But the, 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 did they give away what the whole film's about? No, did no, no. They give no, away no. what happens at the end? No, I, I couldn't get it out of them. Okay, good. But, um, the, the female component, right? Because yeah, there's a, just, it's a very big part of this movie. A lot of female big. issues here. And let's talk about it. Sometimes women are not nice to each other. Correct. We're writing these dirty little letters. Do you think that's changed? Like in the last hundred years? No. Has that changed? No, and right. I want to know why. I don't know either, but I think it's... I think there's like an innate part of our humanity and who we are and what makes a human a human and how we converse with each other, how we share things, and how much has that changed in a hundred years? Some of it has changed for sure, because whether it's technology or I'm hoping that right now in this moment in time, the generation behind us, I think they're talking to each other in a way that we were not, not when we were kids, not when we were teenagers even. So I think there is change and I think there is shift, but there's innate human qualities that make us behave in a certain way with each other. Jealousy, envy, these are really strong And feelings. competition. Competition, all of this. In the same way as loving somebody, if you love somebody a hundred years ago, you, you, you can't say you love them any more than you would have done if it was now. It's the same thing, but these are emotions that are super strong. And what do you think, though, the movie can do to help combat this? How can we learn from this, the characters they're in, so that women can be kinder to each other and more supportive of each other? This is an excellent question. Oh, thank you. Um, what I would really hope is that the journey of the film gives you a very different standpoint by the end as compared to where you are at the beginning. And I think the leading two characters are in a very different place with each other by the end of the movie. So if we can learn from their journey, then we've given something. Well, I hope that will be the case. I look forward to seeing the film. Me too. Wishing you a wonderful night and a great opening and a wonderful time in Toronto. Thank you so much. Thanks for being with us today on Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, signing off. Please remember to like, comment, and share all our posts with your family and friends. And if you haven't already done so, please check the link below in the show notes to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will find us everywhere on the streaming TV side, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Vimeo, Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, and the list goes on. On the audio or podcast side, you will find us on Apple, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Buzzsprout, BuzzFeed, and that list goes on. For a complete list of where to watch and listen to us, please check the link in the show notes below. And until next time, continue to be fabulous. Oh, 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 oh,